So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So that's the, the salt mackerel right here. So you're gonna have to boil it off, wash it off, soak it overnight, whatever you wanna do. Because, and if you have high blood pressure, please don't make this at home. Because I'm just gonna get it worse. Now, let's dig in straight into it. We're gonna um, start off with um, some oil in the front pan. Rough about two teaspoons of olive oil, okay? A teaspoon, okay? Not tablespoon, a teaspoon. We're gonna use some of your favorite that you guys like to use at home. Well, I like to use purple onion, or they call it red onion or red, whatever you wanna call it. But this is what I normally use all the time. All right? So let's go down straight into it. We're gonna do it in a different style today. This is it. All right. Need some heat for that. Right. Yes, guys. So. All right. That looking good right there so far. Big up on yourself. Everyone who take the time and support Chef Ricardo. Okay. My respect always goes for you. Olive oil and red onion. Big up yourself every time. 17 or the G7 that. All right. What is that, guys? That's your favorite, tell me. Peppers. Yeah, man, I love my pepper, right now. Caribbean queen is in the building. This is Jamaica. This is the Caribbean queen recipe. Yeah, man. A good vibe. Look at that. So you can use either uh, purple onion or whatever kind of onion you like to use. Or you know, but I I, I like a lot of vegetable like this. All right. Yeah, man. Um. So basically, a lot of people use um, ketchup, all right, inside of it. But we're gonna use tomato. So I make it a little bit more healthier. Yeah? Vegetable and that's chef ricotta. I like this guy. This is what makes me happy when I have a lot of vegetable. So we're gonna fry up this. Um now I need to get myself a scotch body pepper from
Oh yeah. So. If we have some scotch bunny pepper that is. Wow. Cook it up nicely. Yeah, man. And that looks amazing with a lot of vegetable inside of it. Wow, go on, President Obama. Mr. President of online right now. Yes, guys. That looking fantastic. I got some spring um, spring onion. You know? Find this in Jamaica, kind of guys. Yeah. Mackerel. I grew up on mackerel when I was in Jamaica. You know, if you don't grow up on tip on mackerel, man, mm -mm, you're missing something, guys. Honestly. Make sure you grow up on them stuff and make sure you take some time and make it for your, your kids them and say listen if you're from the caribbean you need to take a little bit of time and make them some of our culture food and let them taste it mackerel corn beef plain rice and all them stuff that you have to put your kids on them thing there guys all right i make them learn about jamaican heroes good morning let them learn about these kind of cooking at home. Yeah. Let them know that this is what your grandmother used to make for them. Black pepper. Mackerel and corned beef and, you know? Yeah. Let them know the, the real culture of where you're coming from, you know? Kids them know about this beautiful kind of cooking. So what you do? Remove some of this right here into a bowl. Like this. I'll show you how to cook at home. Look at that. Alright. Yeah. Here it is, mackerel. inside of it make sure you wash your muffin properly guys okay because you know what I mean and yeah man make sure heat up in happy new year
And then, this is what I see my grandmother do. She put a little bit of ketchup in it. That looks like I got too much ketchup. A long time, you know, put them or something in a bowl. You know what I mean? Cook it down like this with a little bit of ketchup. Yeah. Pop a lifestyle in the building. Pick up yourself. But. Yeah, I don't like too much of the grease, I, I think, still. But. Because I, I buy some food the other day. And I was be a grease, man. But as the guys can see, look at that. That is just amazing. Yeah, yeah man, that's the macula. If you want to break it up a little finer, you can also break it up a little bit finer. But that looking nice. So I cook it off. Yeah. All right. So stuff like this, you must make it for your kids and make them know your culture, okay? Especially you live abroad, whether England, or you live in Jamaica, or you live wherever you are. Cook some of these kind of dishes, make your kids them understand this one, all right? Make up magic, make up yourself. Make up magic in the building. All right. That looking good. All right. Now, a lot of people will be putting a lot more oil and stuff in it, but I don't use a lot of oil. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a minimum person when it comes to oil. All right. Things looking good, guys. Now, let's shear it up, all right? Because we now cook. Um, all right? Yeah, man, we now, we now cook too much. We now, and the ox still, you know, it's just a little bit of food. Yeah, well, so remember guys, if you are living abroad, make sure you do something like this for your kids, even in Jamaica, okay? So what you want to do is share up the food and make the kids them see what you do, or your grandparents grow you in Jamaica. Because they need to know them things, you know, guys. All right? Yeah. Now, Mali... Yeah, all right, so that looking good. Now worry yourself. So, all right. These are my favorite, man. Yeah, where it is again. Banana is my favorite. I don't cook with salt, you know. So if, you, if you ever get invited to my, to my house, you're gonna get fresh food. No salt, guys. We don't, we don't cook with salt. Very weird. Look at this. You don't need this whole heap of grease, neither. Okay? Yeah, man. Look at that. Oh, my days. See this? Then we have a little extra vegetable at the side. Oh yeah, Chef Ricardo. No, you can't get this to buy at the local shop or the supermarket. You're gonna have to make it at home. Fortunate. Okay? Yeah. So if you said to yourself, where can I get this to buy? You're not gonna get it. Remember to teach your kids them the real authentic um, 
Jamil can kind of cook in at home. Okay, that's some avocado, guys. All right. Yeah. You can get this to buy at the local shop or the supermarket. what you call a real authentic street food you know you can't get that for buy at the local shop or the supermarket what do you think guys leave your comments and tell me where i do the mistake all right <laughs> oh my God. leave your comments and tell me exactly what do you think all right so we got one dumpling one finger banana two piece of pumpkin piece of yam sweet corn vegetables avocado and you know tell me what do you think Papa lifestyle what's going on happy new year thank you so much for coming on the show i appreciate it 100 percent <laughs> 